Yo guys, we're back with another video. So uh, right now I'm on my laptop. I'm not on my PC, however. So uh, yeah, don't mind me. But I just had to make another video of this. Uh, you might have probably seen my video, uh, the world scam or hack one. So I'm just gonna put it in the screen right now. You might have seen this before. And I, in that video, I pointed out that uh, you should never drop your items while the hacker or the scammer is on that world. But apparently, today, today, as I'm making this video, uh, there's another one of these. This is, this is very different. I, I'm just gonna let you guys see this. Uh, it's from Martel Play. Uh, big credits to him. But his friend actually got scammed, not him, actually. So let's just watch this latest post. So you can see someone's uh, buying Dark Pixie. This GV, GV owner guy is buying Dark Pixie for this entire uh, stock of items, I believe. And there's this other guy that uh, you'll probably know. <laughs> okay. You'll probably know what is gonna happen to this guy right here. Okay. Just like that. If you actually see there, in a split second, you will see a block uh, broken in just 0 0.001 seconds. And now the world is owned by GV owner again. But the trade has been done. Look at that. He just lost his dark pixie because of this hack. Wow. And pretty much that's it. He just got scammed by Trading Worlds, which is the safest uh, multi-trading item uh, in this game. And there's something kind of like this existed, dude. Like today, uh, or at least 10 hours ago. Just wow. What is this? You know, if I see something kind of like this, something's really urgent. Um, I gotta have to make a video about it. Uh, not only it gives me a lot of views, apparently. <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't mean that. Okay. But the goal is to uh, let you guys aware, especially you guys, professional traders with uh, tons and tons of platinum blocks. You can get scammed by like this. And yeah, it it really kind of disappointing. It really sucks to be this guy, man. Oh my God. I want to give my advice uh, regarding this situation uh, that's happening right now. So of course, number one is to obviously check uh, if the buyer's gonna overpay you or not. So that's, that's the one reason why scams are always happening so normally the buyer would super super overpay your item and what happens is they they already have a plan in mind that I would scam this guy uh, right here right now and if I overpay for that item of course he would want to accept it so that I can scam his world box. So keep that in mind. So overpays are sometimes kind of a scam, all right? So number two is to actually prioritize trading normally with uh, other players rather than just having to trade with uh, world. Uh, for example, a PWR set, it's only four piece. And so you can actually trade it normally with the other people uh, without having to make a world. So if the guy asks you to put inside of a world, that's a sus, 100% sus, that's a scam, no. Okay, you should prioritize trading normally with the people, uh, not uh, with the world. So number three, this is the most important thing um, if you actually have to trade with a world, for example, like Ice Queen set, which has like five to six pieces or something kind of like that, then you would want to check uh, if that world is um, sus, 
quote unquote. So uh, let's just see this video again. Okay. So there's GB owner, the buyer, uh, you. Uh, this 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 point of view, you are the seller. Okay. Uh, there's another guy, right? I'm just gonna pause when the other guy just pops in. There we go. So there's this Burkas Flame dude right here, um, which is not affiliated with your trade. And this guy could be um, working together with, uh, for example, this buyer right here to create some kind of hacks or something like that. So normally when there's three people inside of the world, it's very sus, 100%. But of course, if you're sus about it, you can always report the world or the owner itself. Um, reporting these two guys, for example, uh, if you're sus, pretty much. That way, uh, mods that are offline or admins that are offline that can check the world, check the players if they have some kind of speciality that can break this guy's lock, pretty much. And yeah, this is how I would pretty much um, prevent me from getting scammed, at least. One eternity later. Um, guys, so this is literally a few hours after I recorded that first part. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to edit um, that time. So because I had to go out. But there's already another case on this particular pack. So PD5 underscore PW. Take a look at this. Okay. Um, I guess this is the same situation, I would say. Uh, Rick on PD5 trade. Um, I think he's buying Tormentor Wings. Gosh, he looks very rich, guys. And just it's just very disappointing. All right. Um... And then, and then the world is his again. Wow. I mean, um, yeah, this was a less loss than the previous one that I have covered, but still, he still lost about 10 PL worth of items. I have to get this video out as quickly as possible. Sorry that I cannot edit very early. Um, after I finished the recording the first part, but yeah, please be aware of this. I already told you how to prevent this kind of stuff. So yeah, New Year's on the line. So I hope you stay happy, stay safe, and pretty much enjoy your life. Stay safe and have a happy first day of 2021, I would say. Um, in my place, it's about 15 minutes from New Year's, but actually tomorrow there is, will be another video uh, about the new items and stuff, so you might want to check that out. And yeah, um, this is it. This is the last video of 2020. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Peace out.